good day to one and all uh, i am dr s ramana kumar joga <coughs> assistant professor chipley department diet ankapalli today we are here to discuss about all about itp conferences so in this presentation we discuss about what are the advantages of uh, uh, participating in itp conferences and uh, how to search uh, the new itp conferences that Uh, happen in uh, coming months uh, and uh, how to uh, search the ieee conference template and how to download it and we also discuss about how to write the ieee conference paper like from abstract keywords uh, introduction proposal method results and uh, results and uh, discussions and uh, conclusions and we also discuss some what are the various mistakes we do while writing the ieee conference paper so, so we all these things we will discuss in this uh, presentation <coughs> so coming to the advantage of participation in ieee conferences so when we participate in ieee conference we meet and uh, uh, discuss about our research topic with various research scholars uh, professors so that will make you more awareness on your uh, research area and uh, you can apply travel grants uh, when you when your paper is accepted in some very good international ieee conference the way, there are very uh, government and private organizations they will directly give uh, travel grants to you so by this you can go to abroad with some travel grant and also some very good conferences ieee conference they also provide uh, grants for in local uh, country also and the main advantage of participating in ieee conference is so when you participate in a ieee conference your paper get accepted and uh, <coughs> and you present the paper in the conference so that will that will make the paper will get published in ieee database and that ieee database is known as ieee explore so your paper will be directly get published in ieee explore and all articles in the ieee conference proceedings are indexed in reputed databases like scopus and uh, web of science so the, this is the one of the main advantage of the participation in the ieee con <coughs> now how to search for up, upcoming ieee conferences we already told that we will uh, discuss about how to search for the upcoming uh, ieee conferences so to search for that now directly go to the google.com <coughs> and uh, type ieee and uh, search for the ieee now you will get a tab like this and you can see google page here Uh, with ieee search and here we can see a option called as conferences and we here we can see uh, an option called as conferences click on that uh, conference so click on the conference tab here so when you go to the directly we go to the ieee uh, website and you can directly uh, check for the conferences tab there and click on that uh, conferences tab so when you click on this conferences tab go to the conference search page now there is a search bar is there here so search for ieee conferences by title either you can uh, search the conferences either by title or keywords or locations or any sponsors so now you search uh, with some uh, keyword so here i have some keywords like electrical power energy power electronics so etc in conference uh, ieee conference as well so we can now put some keywords here and we can directly search for the uh, conferences so now here example i took in a keyword called as electrical so now i type it as electrical and i have uh, searched it here so now i will get all the conferences that have keyword electrical now you can see in this particular slide you can see we have got, we got around 120 uh, conferences uh, with electrical keyword but these conference 
are from various countries at various dates and various locations and also different types of uh, modes like online mode or hybrid mode or uh, offline mode so we can refine from this huge database a uh, huge conference so use conference so there is an option called as refine search so if you click on this refine search you can uh, search for the conferences that uh, which is near to you and which is uh, uh, near to you <coughs> and now uh, if you want to search here refine search so click on search so if you want to uh, uh, search for the conference which is on the which is ha which happens on particular date suppose if I want to uh, search the conferences that happened during December 2022 to Jan 2023 so now you can click on the custom date range or else you can uh, see the conferences that happen in the next six months or the next month the next two months so like that you can and we know that nowadays there are so many types of uh, event formats like once there once once it should once the conferences happen in in person only nowadays after covid has happened there are also there are uh, both virtual conferences also and also hybrid conferences which is in person conference and also virtual conferences now you can choose uh, type of the uh, conferences like if you want to go to that conference location you can choose for the in person in person conference no or uh, you don't want to go the conference location and you want to give in a remote area then you can choose for the virtual or uh, uh, hybrid event format and you can also uh, search for the conferences which are based in your location so you can search for the location like country or region you can search for India or you can search it Bangladesh and you can search conferences Sri Lanka and you are search for conferences USA and you can search conferences in uh, UAE and uh, wherever you want to go so we can uh, search that country conferences and also you can search the conferences by reason wise like you like uh, you can search conferences for Bonesha section or Hyderabad section or uh, Kolkata section or Madras section or Bombay section so you can uh, search more you can more refine your conferences and you can decrease the uh, conferences uh, uh, more less number of conferences so that you can go to the particular conferences so we also can search the upcoming ITP conferences by the field of interest suppose you are from electrical department you can click on the electrical if you are belong to the computing and uh, processing you can uh, click on the computing process if you if you belongs to the bioengineering you can click on the bioengineering and also by the sponsored uh, search also you can if you if some conferences are sponsored by the ITP society you can click on that you can some conferences uh, uh, sponsored by other ITP conferences so you can search by uh, who are the sponsors of the conferences <coughs> okay so now finally you refined all the conferences and you have chosen uh, one conference that you want to participate or you want to look on it so now how to uh, go into the website of that conference so now you when you refined all the conferences you can uh, uh, see some refined conferences here suppose I have I have interest I am interested in this conference called as 2023 ninth international conference on electrical engineering system electrical energy system so i want to uh, look on to the website of this conference so now i click on this particular uh, conference title so now we will go to the page of that uh, particular uh, conference you can also check the conference id of this particular uh, conferences suppose for this 2023 ninth international conference on electrical energy system so this conference ID is 57979. So this is the ID given by the ITRB to the particular conference. Now, so now if you want to go to this ITRB conference website, so there is the option here. So this conference is happening on Chennai and this conference uh, format, event format is both in-person and virtual. It is in a hybrid event conference and it is happening on uh, uh, 
ट्वेंटी like what are the scope of the conference uh, means what is the uh, like what are the tracks that are available what are the tra tracks or topics that uh, uh, available in this particular uh, conference and organizing committee advisory committee and call for papers and uh, paper submission iterly pdf express and registration and important days so this is the main thing whenever you go to the web conference website you first check the important dates so whether the paper submission deadline is still there or not if it is there then you can directly go to the paper submission tab so if if it is not there you cannot submit your paper so if the time is there to submit the paper then you can directly go to the paper submission submission uh, tab and there you can uh, submit the paper so now now we know now uh, we understood now uh, we can uh, now uh, we see how to uh, download the manuscript template of uh, conference proceedings so now direct, di directly go to the google search and then they type itp conference template so if you uh, search with this particular keyword called as itp conference search template for itp conference template you will get a website link called as manuscript templates for conference proceedings so now click on this manuscript templates for conference proceedings so then directly we go to the itrb website where you can see the uh, various uh, templates of itrb conference uh, templates uh, which is in the form of us letter and uh, microsoft word a4 and latex uh, template and now you can either download microsoft word template or latex template so now if you now i want to write the paper in microsoft word so now i will click on the option called as a4 so which is a document word document of 30 kb size so now click on that down now you can see the itrb uh, conference template paper here so here uh, there is a uh, at the top we have to write the title of our paper so title of paper should always consist full title which should be very uh, attractive and also very small and and here we have to give the name of the uh, author and his department organization and his name of the organization and city country and his email id so we can give up to six others here and then we can start our paper like abstract introduction uh, proposal methodology and uh, results and discussions and finally uh, conclusions and references so this is the format of the uh, itrb conference uh, template so now we want to write an abstract so this is a very important task in writing an itrb uh, conference paper so an abstract should be a very crisp short and powerful so first of all an abstract should be very crisp and also it should be very short and it should be very powerful and also uh, it should have self contained summary of your research manuscript so this particular abstract is a trailer of the your manuscript so how a film consists of a trailer or a teaser so this particular abstract is same like a uh, trailer of the film so the abstract should be written from the scratch and it should not be copied or pasted from any other uh, paper or any other textbook or any other uh, material it should be written on your own hands and by by reading your entire manuscript you have to uh, write your particular uh, abstract so there are some do's and uh, uh, don'ts for writing an abstract so we will discuss about what are the do's uh, in writing the abstract so we have to write 
introduction and background of a abstract so if, if a paper consists of some uh, topic so we have to write the introduction of the topic like one or two lines and background around one or two lines so when writing the when we start writing the abstract so later we have to tell what methods we have used in this particular uh, uh, paper to solve the particular problem so every research paper will solve some problem and we have to uh, introduce the problem problem and also we have to write the background of the problem and also we we, we have to uh, give the information of what are the tools we use to solve this particular uh, problem and later we have to discuss about the results and finally we have to write about the conclusions and uh, what are the future scope of future scope of the research and also what are the disadvantages of this research and finally we have to recommend uh, some uh, uh, future scope of the uh, paper so so there are, so so there are some don'ts in writing the abstract also so you have to as we discussed abstract should be written from the scratch and it should not be cast cut and paste of many materials so some people will cut the paste cut and paste the introduction into the abstract that is a uh, wrong thing we shouldn't uh, cut and copy any material or any matter from the uh, main material and have to put in the abstract it is wrong so you have to write from the sketch so I uh, introduction background uh, tools results and conclusions and uh, drawbacks so if any important material is there we can hold that information in the abstract we don't we don't need to put every information in the abstract that is uh, we don't need to uh, put everything in the uh, abstract so do not use any abbreviations like uh, uh, something like GAT, CAT, BAT, MAT, NAT, RAT so don't use these abbreviations in uh, writing the uh, uh, abstract and don't include any tables or figures in the abstract and also don't uh, use any quotations uh, in the abstract and uh, you shouldn't write the generalized statements in the abstract so this is the main important uh, thing you sh we shouldn't write any general generalized statements so the abstract consists of your scientific uh, report so what are the scientific evidences you got and that should be reported in the abstract and we should uh, we shouldn't put any references in the abstract and we also shouldn't put any arguments like we should contradictions to the any statement or contradiction to the any paper so my paper is good and that paper is good we shouldn't write like that in the abstract so after uh, writing the abstract so there is a, another uh, section called as keywords so these keywords are like hashtags uh, if you want your paper to be uh, come in the particular uh, top search area or if you want to uh, if you want to uh, make your paper more visible to the readers so these keywords are very important uh, to choose so you have to choose your uh, keywords properly and you can omit the words which are in the title in keywords so so that you can uh, give more keywords to your uh, particular uh, paper and how to write an introduction uh, to an academic to an to an conference paper so first when you start writing about the introduction uh, we have to write about the general background information so if you write if you want to uh, write about some topic so that topic we have to write the general background information what is the uh, what is the uh, problem so so there is a way are do we are solving some problem so we have to uh, introduce the problem with some uh, background information and from that background information we have to specify the problem what problem is happening in the background information so then we have to we have to make readers to search for the gap in the knowledge so search for the gap in the college so then we have to write the aim of our uh, uh, research uh, paper and then we have to write the literature at least at least 10 to 15 papers uh, you have to read from 
various IEEE uh, journals or uh, elsewhere journals or weekly journals and you have to uh, make a some literature review at least 10 to 15 papers are enough for the IEEE conferences so now we will write all the literature review and we will specify the what is the gap in this uh, particular literature review and then you will write a last paragraph in the introduction section is your uh, contribution to the uh, literature and uh, novelty of your uh, research paper so this should this paragraph should be must written after writing the uh, introduction this uh, last paragraph will be the novelty uh, or your contribution to literature so introduction section consists of three paragraphs so one paragraph is for the general background information and specific background information and statement of study aim and then you will write another paragraph consists of literature review and you have to write the gap in the knowledge <coughs> and the last uh, paragraph is our uh, novelty or your contribution to the literature that's enough introduction is enough so only three paragraphs one paragraph is for the basic introduction general background information specific background information and then literature review and gap in knowledge and finally the third paragraph is for the novelty or your contribution to the literature so how to write the research methodology so after writing the introduction you have to write the what is the research methodology or the problem formulation uh, uh, for solving your problem so first you have to write the your research procedures explain the techniques that you used in the method and provide the rationality behind your chosen approach so why exactly you uh, chosen this particular method so there are so many methods are there but why particularly you chosen this particular technique to solve the problem so explain you the mechanism so if you are when you introduce you already introduced the research procedure now you have to explain in uh, some graphical form means something like a visual form like you can apply like flowchart, algorithm and necessary mathematical equation to make your uh, research procedure more understandable. So you, the mathematical equations are important. If any mathematical equations are important that you can uh, uh, produce there. You can also uh, draw a flowchart that will uh, explain and that will be easily understand, understood, by, understood by the reader. And you can also put the algorithm and if anything uh, related to the mathematical uh, entering relating to the programming code you can also put the pseudo code so you can uh, put the pseudo code in this particular uh, proposed method or research methodology and we also specify we also have to specify what are the significance of outcomes so we have to explain the significance of the outcomes and explain your sample space so how many samples uh, data you use in this particular method and also all these things we can explain this research and research methodology and finally you have to write a one or two lines about uh, what are the challenges you face by formulating this uh, research methodology and what are the limitations of this uh, research uh, methodology so now we will discuss about how to write the results and uh, discussions so the results section should include the findings of your study and only the findings of your study. So there is no need to write any big matter or again introduction or again research methodology and there is no need to write everything, uh, no need to write every, anything here. The only thing you have to write here, so what are the findings you studied in the, either you have done experimental study or uh, simulation study, you have to write directly, put those findings on. So data represented in uh, the, the data should be presented in tables, charts, graphs, and any, any other uh, figures. So a context, a, a, an analysis of this data explaining its uh, meaning in sentence form. So after putting some uh, figure, you have to explain uh, what happening in that figure. If you put some graph, you have to explain about the graph. So that is a point here. And all that all data that corresponds to the central research uh, question. So you have to uh, include all the data here. So you have to write uh, uh, more about the data, and you have to uh, you also you, have, you also add the what are the secondary findings. So so the main uh, uh, so also you can write about the secondary findings here, like uh, uh, some other analysis and. Uh, 
uh, you can also put these type of uh, results also in the section now we know, now we will uh, discuss how to write the conclusion section now here restate your research topic again so if you write, if you are writing conclusion in eight steps so eight or nine points you can first uh, specify what is the research topic and what is the uh, methodology you have used and what is the significance and summarize all the main points of uh, research and now you have to write the uh, quantitative analysis of your results and then what are the research uh, outcomes and uh, novelty of your uh, uh, research and finally you have to write the limitations what are the drawbacks of your uh, research and also specify one or two lines of future works of your research so this is a way to write a good uh, conclusion for IEEE uh, conference paper. Now how to write the reference sections. So there are the reference sections. At least 15 references should be must for an IEEE conference paper. So below 15 IEEE, below 15 is a not a good paper. So at least 15 uh, paper should be started in a IEEE conference paper that looks very good and that looks very good research. So to put some uh, references, uh, you can directly uh, go to the Google and search IEEE Explore and there you get a website called as IEEE Explore.IEEE.org that click on that particular web and you directly go to the IEEE website. There you get some search bar. If you want to search something like keyword, you need anything. If you want to search anything, you need some keyword. Suppose I took some uh, keyword called as power system and I searched it. And I got many papers like conferences, journals and magazines, early access articles, books, standards and uh, courses. Now, uh, for references and citation, it is best to choose only journal papers. So, just click on the journal's paper and apply in it. Now, always uh, always cite the references paper which are new papers so suppose if you are in the year 2024 then search papers which are near to our 2024 like 2023 22 and 21 and then you there you can give the year here so I have searched the year from 2021 to 23. Now you can search from 2021 to 24. So click on apply. Now we get the journals from around 2024, 23 and 22 and 21. Uh, uh, conference paper in uh, reference section. So how to avoid plagiarism? Pla pla so this is very important uh, topic. So, so when you write some paper, you will get uh, plagiarism so plagiarism should be uh, avoidable or else you will get into some legal obligations so in order to uh, uh, avoid this plagiarism so if something like figure is there I have redrawn the particular paper a uh, particular figure from another paper so you should cite the that paper uh, in the figure so that to avoid the plagiarism so this diagram has drawn by someone I have uh, used it by redrawing the same diagram or I have enhanced this diagram and redrawn some points and extra points but still this diagram belongs to some other person so now that paper should be cited here you can see here at the end of the figure 4 I have given some citation called as 16 so this is the uh, original uh, author's citation. So now if you, these equations are generalized equations. So those equations also should be uh, given the citation. So this 14 paper consists of all these equations. So these are not written by me, but I reused these equations. So I have given the uh, citation for that particular uh, person who wrote these formulas for the first time. And there is a some um, artificial intelligence uh, softwares 
uh, that will helpful to avoid uh, helpful to uh, rearrange or rephrase your uh, uh, matter in the IEEE conference IEEE conference paper. So if you want to paraphrase, uh, you can choose some uh, AI based tools. So this particular tool is called as Quillbot. So this Quillbot is a paraphrasing tool. So this paraphrasing means it is a rewriting a source ideas and information into your own ideas, own words without changing its meaning. So you can change the uh, paragraph or change the sentence without changing them, changing its meaning. So, you, so it will be only paraphrase the particular sentence. So whenever you, <coughs> whenever you, uh, you should be be careful after rephrasing it. You have to again read the sentence whether it is grammatically correct or not or it, uh, it, it the meaning is same or not so you can use this particular quillbot uh, um, uh, AI based tool to ref uh, to paraphrase your uh, content in the or text in the paper